Hey guys, Tails here back with another video. You think having a tail on your avatar would be like the best thing ever, which it kind of is, but it also gets in the way a lot and it's kind of annoying, but hey, that's a me problem, something I'll have to learn how to live with and I will do. Also, in other news, I've added slightly longer hair to my avatar as an option uh, to add to the edgy emo boy look a little bit more and for picture taking purposes and, you know, just one of the many other options that this avatar will have. There's going to be so many. Uh, you'll definitely be getting a plenty of variety as far as looking at this avatar goes anyway I have been on VR chat as you all know by this point for a very long time since the start like maybe a couple months out and that means I have gone through my fair share of friend groups now I'm not saying that uh, I've lost touch with my any of my other friend groups uh, in this particular instance it would just happen to be late at night no one else was on and I saw a friend was on that I joined maybe two, three, four times before. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go hang out. I haven't said hi in a while. I'm going to go catch up. That was the thing, too, is I like to go say hi to people every now and again, even though I can't, like, say hi to them. I like to drop by on occasion and just be like, hey, what's up? I'm like, <laughs> just, how's it going? But anyway, this friend was online, and they were in a public instance, and they just happened to be hanging out with their own friend group. And this was my first time meeting them. And you know that feeling when you're just kind of sitting off uh, in the distance observing? Like they have the whole dynamic and you're just trying to assess what it is. Also, we're in public lobbies. As you all know, I already have had in the past the anxiety issue, which I don't really think is as prominent now, but it's still there. And I just kind of tend to be a bit quiet in general in public world still. But adding like meeting her friends on top of that, it was just like an extra thing. So I wasn't like stoic or quiet or like on edge or anything, but I was definitely just kind of mostly sitting there taking the vibe like how how do I interact what do what is the vibe so these guys were like super friendly super welcoming which is great and everything it was a pleasure to meet them talk to them you know just get to know them but they're also the kind of people who I kind of respect in a way but at the same time I don't really know how to deal with <laughs> especially uh, on a first meeting basically I can't go into it on YouTube um, but they were asking a people personal questions and I think it may have started with asking me and I didn't really give an answer because I'm like I'm not <laughs> answering that and then they would run up to other people in the world and ask the same question and then other people would just answer normally I'm like what what is happening what is going on but I think that's part of the excitement of VR chat is just having these instances and throwing yourself into situations that you're not used to and kind of learning how to deal with them and it's all part of you know part of the experience and uh, again when it comes to the anxiety which I kind of welcome in a way because you know it gets me used to dealing like these are just normal public world scenarios the amount of times I've just been sitting in a public world going watching all the all the inappropriate stuff shall I say just happening before my eyes I'm like what like I'm just sitting there with like what is this degeneracy you know I'm, just, I'm not actually doing that but it's just like I I'm not the kind of person who's gonna necessarily interact but I'm going to observe what's going on and question everything that's going on in my life but still enjoy the moment uh public lobbies be like that it's also having the experience of being hanging out with the friend group and then you're in the group of people actually asking the questions usually i'm just the random where someone will walk up and ask me but when you're actually hanging out with the group and then you know everyone's just kind of like looking at you and like look i'm not, I'm not part of this <laughs> I don't, i'm just meeting these people for the first time i don't know but you know uh i i i did i generally try to be open-minded because even people asking those questions, it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, they were perfectly nice people. <laughs> and it was all just... <laughs> I think one of them was actually drunk. I remember him saying a couple of times that he'd been drinking, like, I need to, I need to calm down. Like, he even had a filter. I'm not going to name drop or anything, but he even have, had a filter. He's like, I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, <laughs> you do you. I'm just here to vibe. Uh, we all, yeah, we just kind of like jumped around a bunch of uh, public worlds. And they weren't just asking that one question. They went on for like 
probably longer than it should have, you know, it just went on for a little bit, it was a bit of a laugh, and then it would randomly come back, and uh, we just have other, like, random conversations, and it's just the feeling, again, of getting to meet a different group of people on VR. Getting out of your comfort zone, which is something I haven't gone off and done by myself. Like, I believe that this was one of my first times joining on a friend instead of, you know, like joining with a friend, which is different. You know, it's completely different going in with someone you know. But this was like, oh, hey, I've spoken to this person a couple of times and there's just dived right in and I was okay <laughs> and I was like okay cool uh next stage of getting over the crippling anxiety thing let's go we're making progress I was actually asked if I was uh streaming I'm like okay for one thing I don't stream at least not currently I I'm not gonna say not ever but not currently I don't stream if I was streaming I would not be in a public lobby like y'all are crazy if you're streaming in a public lobby and you don't have like everyone muted <laughs> and essentially why are you even there at that point uh public lobbies are a vibe um that's all I can really say <laughs> like you're pretty much every public instance you're gonna be faced with uh how do i word this um unique experiences i think that's the word we're looking for uh the words even yeah um a lot of people are chill but you're just god the the, the things you're gonna you would see <laughs> it's i can't describe it um, mostly because I'm on YouTube, but, uh, just, the, the public lobbies are definitely experience. They're not one I have very often because I prefer to just chill and be with friends or making a video, but when I do have the experiences, they always turn out to be a time <laughs> and meeting, meeting new people is always fun. So essentially what we did is we just kind of hopped around some public worlds and then the friend I joined on um, fell asleep. No, they crashed. And then they went to bed, which is essentially the same thing. <laughs> so I go to public worlds. So I get to learn which are the new, uh, um, it, with the kids, the in crowd. Where are all the people hanging out these days? Like I couldn't look in popular, but you know, uh, where's the fun in that? Uh, when a friend can just, take me to these worlds like a lot of them i'd been to and i'm like oh okay so this is actually a hangout world cool um and, and i also got to see new worlds that i didn't know were hangout worlds uh one of them was one of those worlds where you're like in an rv i forgot what it was called and it was like moving and i was just trying so hard to like not look out the window <laughs> like tree 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 <laughs> like i i'm very good with vr sickness now i very rarely get it but if i'm sitting there um looking at a mirror or something and like the background's moving then you know i start to get a bit nauseous when that happens so essentially what i did is i just set up my mirror and just stared at that but like literally every corner had a window on it so i'm like oh god where do i face the mirror where i'm not gonna die <laughs> just try not to focus on the outside you're fine um but i was mostly fine there because i wasn't looking but anyway so yeah getting to see new worlds i wouldn't normally check out just for that reason <laughs> and for you know I like to, when I'm looking for Friends Plus worlds or for video worlds or for a picture, I like to pick nice, pretty worlds to hang out in. And they're not essentially public worlds. And I couldn't really see the world, I, I couldn't see the world I'm currently in being much of a public lobby because it's so cramped. Um, it's actually, uh, <laughs> uh, how do I put this? I think it's more of a cuddle world. <laughs> Just like sitting here looking at it. You know what, there's a TV here, there's a fireplace, uh, there is a giant bed over there, which is why I say it's it's more, it's probably a cuddle world, but I don't care. The lighting's nice, the vibe is nice, isn't this corner of the room nice? The innocent corner of the room where I'm sure nothing happens? No cuddling happens here whatsoever, but yeah, just going to worlds that I wouldn't only go to and actually hanging out there, I guess is the difference. It's like I've been to these worlds, but I've never actually just hung out there. So getting to hang out in different places, meet 
new people just hear what hear what the kids are doing in VR chat these days outside of Friends Plus. It's definitely an experience, and uh, sometimes you just have to soak up the experience and just kind of roll with the vibe. The the inappropriate <laughs> the the inappropriate questions and just kind of answer them to the best of your ability in the moment. And honestly, having those questions fired at me now will hopefully teach me how to <laughs> have, a, have a more witty reaction in the future I don't know but it was just kind of more of a taking aback like it was a different friend group a different vibe I'm like I don't know how to respond to this <laughs> how do I integrate here <laughs> this is more of a personal thing it's just like learning to hang out with a new friend group see what's okay what what the boundaries are you know what the vibe is um apparently there are no boundaries <laughs> and uh, apparently the vibe is chill so there we go we learned some stuff but anyway uh met, met some new friends that i wasn't expecting to meet so that's cool that was fun um i think it's something that i would probably look into doing more now because you know i was always like the whole anxiety thing would really prevent me from doing it before like i can remember seeing people that i wanted to join and they're like in public lobbies and like oh god that's kind of scary i don't want to do that but now i can just be like eh whatever uh change my avatar that's the thing too is i have to find an avatar this quest because I am so sick of people looking at my avatar and being like, oh my god, a giant raccoon. I am not a giant raccoon. Uh, this avatar definitely not quest compatible. Would not use it in a public world anyway. I know there's like things in place now, but um, no, trust is gone. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, in public worlds, I need to find like some quest avatars that I can comfortably use and just run around a public world. Because <laughs> I just, uh, just, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing against quest people or anything but it's just you know i it's it's never an issue when i'm in a friends plus because most of my friends uh have like non-quest or they have the cable or whatever so it's not really an issue and honestly if you're looking at me like a giant raccoon um this sounds like a you problem but when you're in like a like more compact well i guess is what i'm trying to say. like it, i guess really it's more for when i'm just in more of a compact world and, you know, there's not enough space by the mirror or whatever, what, whatever it happens to be going on. There's not enough space. I'm not just like a jigged, like, I'm not just like a giant raccoon when I'm actually a tiny avatar. You know, like, sitting in front of the television while the other kids are trying to watch. It's like, no, no, okay, cool. It's like, oh, I, I blocked this person's avatar. They were a giant raccoon. Like, God, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a raccoon. Uh, but I don't know what it is. Whenever I find an avatar, like, they should be quest compatible, but they're, they aren't. Like, they could easily be quest, but the person just hasn't made them quest, and I will only use public avatar in a public world. Um, I could invest in my own, I guess, and well, I don't know. It's a problem for another day. I did manage to find one avatar I could use that was quest compatible, and yeah <laughs> so yeah there was a, there was a ton of new experiences for me i'm not going to go into them all but there was a variety of worlds we went into and i met like different kinds of people that i wouldn't normally meet and interact with not just the friend group but like obviously randoms in the random world so getting to see their side of vr chat was an interesting experience a bit of growth if you will and seeing another side of vr chat I'm always interested to learn about like different like uh, how do I say this like example you know like the e-boys and the furries and the e-girls and the, the, the random meme people like I'm always interested to like learn a different community a different side of your chat so again the only way you're gonna do that is to get away from your usual friend group and just go out and explore i don't think i would be super interested in going around by myself not so much for the anxiety anymore but i probably would be a little more i don't know what's the word stoic <laughs> than usual as i tried to soak in the vibe and be like what, what do i how do i contribute to this whatever conversation you're having but anyway i think it's just more fun to go with a friend and uh, they can share in the weirdness with you and often they have a better comeback than i do so you something like you 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 go take over talk to this person and i will contribute <laughs> but you know uh that that's kind of the vibe see i don't really see myself ever just being like logging on to vr chat and ever going oh my god 
I just really want to go to a private lobby today. I'm gonna be like, no. I kind of want to go to a public instance, but I'm not going it alone. <laughs> this is a frontier that I will probably not be taking on loan. I am bringing friends on the quest. <laughs> the quest into public worlds. Um, you guys have seen my videos where I was introducing new people to VR chat. I'm going to ask them if they they want to join again to VR chat. We haven't I haven't had them back in. They aren't like obviously major VR chat people. It's just kind of like whenever. I haven't had them back into VR chat since making these videos. Uh, there's two more left to go up. But um, hopefully they they've shown interest. This is like pulling them away from Pokemon and Mario and whatever games they're playing, <laughs> like uh, and getting them you know into VR chat to have more experiences meeting. The, the random. I think that's helped me too. Honestly, just guiding them around public worlds and then like jumping in with friends. It's like, you know what? <laughs> this isn't so bad. At least they understand. I don't have to sit here and try to explain everything. Like, there's you can't really explain VR chat. You just kind of have to experience it. <laughs> and yeah, this was definitely a new experience for me. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the experience, but I believe that's all I have to share about it. It was a whole vibe. I got to meet a whole new group of people, hang out in some public lobbies, see what's going on outside my little bubble of VR chat, uh, what degenerate stuff is happening in worlds, and what chill stuff is happening in worlds, and just kind of switch off and just see what the magic took. Like, that's the thing too, is that when I was hanging out with friends, usually I am picking the worlds, but like, uh, in this instance, someone else was doing it. And I just had to be along for the ride until they crashed me. <laughs> and then I had to rejoin the ride. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it is. Sometimes in VR chat, it'd be like that. Basically, I kind of have a lot of respect now for people who just do public instances. Like, you are the unsung heroes of VR chat. <laughs> like, not just jumping from place to place to place and dealing with the chaos on a day-to-day -day basis and being having the power and strength to go through it like more than once <laughs> like for me it's like one of those things where i will hang out in a public lobby for a couple of days and then i just need a break but you get these unsung heroes who will just jump from person to person person vibe 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 and then move on to the next person and then vibe with someone else and just probably be drinking all night or everyone definitely has their own way of wanting to experience vr chat and i think really the longevity for me has been having friends that i can hang out with i don't i don't think i would still be on vr chat if i had been like an unsung hero personally like i feel like i would have gotten bored very fast but getting to meet people make connections and then go on and meet new people and friends and friends and friends and just embracing everything that vr chat is and all the all the different individuals you can meet on vr chat definitely the play for me for sure that's why i'm still here and of course now i have this youtube channel which also keeps me around keeps me creating i have thought about doing like some tutorials or something for setting up avatars but again if i ever did that it'll be something when this avatar is done and i can get it set up so i can have the program open and like you know the avatar overlay and all that kind of fun stuff which is just kind of a pain which is another reason <laughs> setting avatars up in that is just oh god but i don't know just having a different style of video where i can like screen record something and having an avatar of late there there's, there's so much more i can do in the future but yeah i've thought about actually doing maybe some serious setup avatar tutorials but there's so many out there like it's just like what am I telling you guys that nobody else hasn't? I can tell you in my own way. I can actually, you know, low-key, low I can see myself sitting down to do it seriously and then just turning it into a joke. <laughs> like, how to set up an avatar. It's like a rage at Blender for 20 minutes. <laughs> that, that, that's, how you, that's how you set up an avatar. And then you upload, uh, and then you load up Unity and you rage at that for like three hours. And then you successfully do something you're happy and then you break it and then you rage at it for another four hours while you're trying to fix it and that's essentially the, the avatar fading experience but i don't know <laughs> another problem for another day it's just an idea right 
there's there's so many things I can do but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here guys I want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for viewing my videos thank you guys for contributing to me wanting to stay on VR chat and have these new experiences if it wasn't for YouTube I would still be hanging out in front of a mirror honestly before this channel um, that's all we were doing for a couple years uh, like mostly well we would we, we world hop sometimes but there was never the incentive to go out and try new things <laughs> and attempt to get over a lot of the anxiety things so thank you guys for hanging out <laughs> and watching my videos and uh, you know uh, getting me to a point where I can join on friends of friends and be asked questions that I generally don't know how to respond to <laughs> uh, to be sheltered. <laughs> uh, it's a vibe though. I'd definitely hang out with him again at some point. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and before I forget, Twitter is now getting updated with more than just I have posted a video. I've been posting pictures, uh, pictures of myself in worlds. So if you guys want to find some new worlds to check out, that's essentially what they are, showcasing some worlds. Uh, I have a lot of worlds, chill worlds that I found, pretty worlds that you guys might want to go check out that I can't necessarily make a video on or just, you know, picture of this avatar or whatever the hell I'm doing. Uh, Twitter is still evolving, whatever I want to do on there. But anyway, uh, it's always linked in the description. As I was saying, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Good boy. Tell me your intentions.